is your sign to start installing artificial dreadlocks. Hear me out. Okay, this is Welcome back to my channel. And today's video, we are going to speak more about what you need to know about artificial dreadlocks. And if you have been dreading to uh, install them, this is your sign, guys, because let me tell you, they have really served me for 11 months. I can't imagine. Like, 11 months? Yeah, it's a year. Like, next month, it will be a year, and I'm halfway through this month. So, meaning I'm done, guys. And... Today I just felt it's the best day for me to tell you about the experience because after I've stayed with them for 11 months and when I was installing them, I did a video and you guys asked some questions which now I feel like I can now answer them here <clears throat> because at least I've, it has served me and I can talk more about it. So stay to you. So guys, I have the questions written. So if you see me checking this uh, under <laughs> down here, I'm reading um, some of the questions that you guys asked. And what will I start? Um, let me see which question I can start with. So um, the first question is, why did I choose to install um, artificial dreadlocks? Okay, from the beginning, I I chose to make the artificial dreadlocks because I was so fed up with my hair. Um, okay, my hair doesn't have any problem. Let me just say, it's just long. It's, it, will, it usually reach a bit. Damn! So my hair. So it's just long. It's just... I foresee here and it's just for me it, it has never given me stress but i'm not the person who knows how to style how to do this and that for the hair so i don't know how to do all that so I, I i got used to going to the salon and i'm now fed up with me going to visit those salons each and every month so by the time i knew about these artificial dreadlocks i was so tired and fed up and i wanted to shave so then that, that's when i start seeing the artificial dreadlocks with people and i started my research from there so yeah, that's why I decided like, let me make this artificial dreadlocks. I feel, if I feel they are better for me because I'm not a person of styling, I'm not a person of making hair today, this, today, that. So for this one, for me, will be the perfect uh, style to go with because as long as they have styled me in the salon, that's how I, I will stay until the day I'll go for another retouch. So that's how, uh, that's why I chose the artificial dreadlocks. Two. So what are the dreadlocks made of? Um, these dreadlocks are made of um, a hair texture known as Afro Kinky. I will just place everything here so that you can see how it looks when it has not been braided in salon. So it's just uh, artificial dreadlock, uh, artificial, uh, a kinky hair that's made just, they just roll it up in a way. They, they, I don't know how they do it, but they just make it in a way. And then uh, they can now put it on someone's hair. So they come in different colors. It depends. So for me, I just chose black. You can do brown. You can do both black and brown. There's some different styles and um, colors of, of, the, of, of the of the Afro Kinky you can choose. So the, it's like the material is just like uh, normal for C hair. It's so hard, but it's a good texture for the hair. So the um, number three, um, hmm, someone asked, what method of installation did they use? So for me, when I was researching, now that's where I dip, dip, deeper and deeper because there were some people who were giving horror stories. Once I called TikTok, I was really feeling. So I was like, when I do this, will I be able to manage or it will cut my hair all of it? Like now it got me scared. But when I got through the um, people who have gone through it and they've made it and they've stayed with them, I got two different types of uh, methods. The methods were one for me. They did crochet. Crochet means they started with them braiding my normal hair, and then now the texture, this Afro kinky, they put it on top with a crochet method. And there are two. There, there are some people who do it in um, the glue. The, the gel. There's a gel they use, and they twist it with it. So there are these two types of installation. So why? Which one would you choose rather? I would rather choose the method that I rather chose was um the crochet method because i found people said it's more easier to even undo because we use the gel method for some time because it's months and months the hair usually clips so it's not good to use on your hair so for the people who have done it you can comment down below tell us your the, what method you used and how it reacted to your hair so the other thing was um uh, i mean number four or something um Hours that how many hours I took in the salon. The first day that I went there, my hair was already unbraided, and what I just did was wash, blow dry, and install. So for me, it just took only two hours. 
two hours max and i was so like ah you're done you're done you're done so the process is so simple and quick and painless so for me to i really enjoyed the method and um yeah that's what i can say about it so it took me like two hours because it's just wash you just braid the small um, braiding like in your hair just your normal hair and then now they put the kinky so for me that was two hours a month the other one was um can you get your hair back hey okay now this is now why i'm doing this video if they are asking can you get your hair back the people who have seen um making this they are saying it's oh, you get your hair back guys so most of these people most of people who are doing this they want to like grow their hair um, line and most of the people want to also grow their hair to a bit longer because you know you're not disturbing it every month when you just have the normal hair so you will just get it back um even if it will just um cut is just a little bit of it because you know it has not been and done for a longer time so that will be something that we do but tomorrow i'll also take you through all my process the other one is um how long do you retouch them so for me i go retouch after every um every four weeks or sometimes i extend uh because my i find like when they are a bit older and shaggy 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 like this they look so natural and cute for me that's what i see i feel like so when there's a bit shaggy and shady, like right now, there I'm not going. This is the second month almost over, and I've not gone for the retouch. So they look neat. Uh, I mean, they look um natural, like a normal that the person who has done their hair in dreadlocks. So you can do it. You choose what to do. You can either do four weeks a month. You can do two months. It depends on how you like it. So if you want it to be neater, if you like, uh, someone asked, do do they interfere with the hairline? So as I've said, this is a protective hairstyle. It doesn't interfere with your hairline. Okay, I cannot talk much about hairline because me, I've never lost the hairline part. It's always intact. My hair is always okay, even uh, up front here. So I've never had any, uh, I cannot talk more about it. But the people who have, have researched more, they have said at least it takes back, brings back your hair because, you know, there's no more of disturbing it all the time with blow dry and heat. So it's a protective hair. The other one asked, how about their maintenance? Um, I wish I could have brought my thing. So for maintenance, guys, you just, you can wash at home. The good thing with it, if you feel like you're so sweaty, you're smelly, you have a smelly hair, you can wash it at home with your shampoo and all your conditioner, the things that you just use for your hair. And then after that, you can just sun dry and you're good to go, guys. And you can just spray your moisturizer and the braids. Um, there's the spray that I usually show it in my gloves. You just spray it on your... I just post them here. Uh, you just spray them on the locks and they become shiny like and they become so clean and the scalp so clean. You can also use if you're not you don't want to wash wash in water, you can also use the dark and lovely. Um that one washes your scalp so well and you your dreadlocks are always neat and clean. Um someone asks, Can you swim, go with the gym? Can you wash? I've answered that. Uh, you can do anything literally this year. You can wash, go to the gym. After to the gym, you can wash it with, like the whole body and the hair. It doesn't matter. You can also swim with it. So it doesn't matter. You can style different styles as well because uh, most of the people will feel like when I put dreadlocks, it will li limit me on styling. Let me tell you guys, nowadays, dreadlocks has lots of different styles that you cannot even exhaust. So you can make all those styles in different ways. So for me, I'm a bit lazy. I am just, I just being styled there and I don't do much on that. Pro the price. Someone asked about the price. So for me, the price that I used... Uh, last year, around a time like this, it was around sixty eight hundred seven thousand. So for me, that be, before I even paid that, I was like, ah, this is too much. This is too much money for a day. But when you do your math, every month I you can use every month in the salon you can use three thousand and more each and every month. If you do your math, you're even saving more <laughs> than how you thought. You, you know, when you you you're giving out um a huge amount of money once, you feel like it's it's too much but it's not it gives you it's it's worth the every penny that you're going to use over there so the price also depends with the length so there's do you mid back length long like i show you in the, um i just attached a picture here so every style has got different pricing and um 
what else will I say about the price? Yeah, and also the where you're going to be made. It also depends on where you're going to be made. Some people are paying four thousand, others fifteen, others it just depends on where you're going to be made. Um oh, yeah. the last one is where did I make my where did I make my artificial dreadlocks? I've done this in my every video that I go for a church. Uh the place that I went to do this um dreadlocks, it's Rasta Jose. Uh, dreadlocks uh he is based in mombasa road at a mall known as highway mall i think first floor yeah so you can check him out even on instagram and just check what he does and everything and uh for me i can't complain i've just gone there and one thing that i did and you guys something that i researched on as well if you make your hair i started making I made with uh, he get, he started with me making installing them and I've stood by him for the eleven months. I've never cheated and gone to another salon for a recharge because the, the, there's a method they use themselves on how they crochet. So if I start going to another different um, salon and they crochet another method, the, the time I'm going to remove it will be it will be something else. So you need to stick to the person who has you started with until you finish. So that's what I did. I've sticked. I've gone to that salon each and every month. Or so after two months and yeah so tomorrow i'm just uh, waiting to see how the hair will turn out after we've removed because i'm not ready guys i'm feeling like i'm fearing <laughs> i'm like ah will i feel pain i don't know how the process will but i'll take you through so be uh that's why i wanted to share this before i remove them so that you can at least understand what i'm saying and if you want to install them guys you can go on um Ask me any other questions that you want to ask in the comment section. And if you have anything else to add, please add for us. We would love to hear from you. So, yeah. So, guys, this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, mine are a bit... This is the length. Yeah. And there's another... Uh, quest, is it a question that I can say? If you feel like... For me, I thought that... I usually have um, reactions when it comes to hairs touching me. So, that's why I went with this a Christmas design instead of doing halfway um, you feel like because it's soft it's not rough right rough rough so it has it hasn't affected me the way I thought it would so yeah that's one thing else I can add yeah and I hope guys this is something that you're learning and also it's informative to everyone so yeah see you tomorrow as we are going to remove this hair i'm really i'm really i feel so bad because at least i've never like settled my mind when it comes to here by, by the way i have now i'm going to remove and start again mm, today what will i do what will i do next month ah, those are things that i didn't want to but i think i'll remove and then stay a month and decide if i'll continue putting them or what yeah so see you guys tomorrow do you enjoy being heard I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. You believe his stories, you know that there are lines. Bad as you are, you stick around, and I just don't know why. Okay, so this is how it looks, guys. Okay. Let me just come closer. That's how it looks. And one thing about it, it's so light. It looks so heavy, but it's so light. And, um, yeah, you. Yeah, so it depends on also the hair volume. If you have uh, lots of hair, expect to have lots of them or lots of dreadlocks installed. If you have um not you don't have volume, also it will not be. But it's so light again, guys. Not that it's it's heavy. So look how cute I am. I'm just saying goodbye to it, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Yeah, so it has served me, and I'm not regret. I don't regret the process, guys. I'm not regretting the process. So. Mm -hmm. So that's how mine are reaching here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mm, I think this one is mid bar, if I'm not wrong. So. Mm. Two weeks later.
two very boring minutes later. Hours later. Hey guys, good evening and this is the time that I've come back home. I've just done my work today and then I had also gone to the salon. So yeah, so I'm, I want to finish up this video and just tell you that my locks are gone guys. They are gone. Gone, gone, gone. So I was really fearing, I was really postponing this day to remove these locks because I thought I would feel pain, I won't handle the pain. Okay, my imaginations were telling me so. But to my shock, guys, to my shock, this is it was it, it was easy. It was they, they made it easy for me. So I just today was I'm on off day, so I thought this is the best day for me to go. And it's, in fact it's on a Monday. So there's there are no there are not a lot of people in the salon. So it will be easy for me for people to handle me. So I was being um I had three people who are working on my who are removing the locks, um the three of them, and uh, it was really smooth process. I can just say a minimal minimal pain that you can uh, uh, be able to handle so that's the case i just wanted to share with you that process okay i did not show you the process like really but at least i wanted just to hear from the horse's mouth it was not painful as i thought it would be so um it's only that the scalp is a bit um what will i even say because i'm not used to touching the hair all the time so the scalp is not used to so that's the only thing the challenge that i've gotten and it was just minimal pain that i was able to handle and yeah so what we did i we, we did the hair for like 45 minutes what we did was the first trim cut off uh where your hair reaches the locks and then they start undoing it and then after they undo okay not undoing it just removing the edges they go and rinse you they rinse you to remove the um the oils in the head and all that and then after that they now apply lots and amount of um conditioner for for your hair to be a bit softer so that's why i think the process was better it, I, I even have not taken any panadol i thought i would take because i even forgot to carry it in the morning so yeah um that's what we did we they, they did um after they have just applied good amount of conditioner that, that's when they start the work and after 45 minutes they, they hadn't done it and uh, yeah so we just that did that wash and blow dry for today yeah because i cannot handle anything more i love myself <laughs> anyway so i hope this um video has really um motivated you to even put the locks guys because that was my motive my, my main motive and also to at least share with the people who are, are scared like me the way i'm scared i was scared the first time that i was before i had put them so i don't know if i should show you the hair Ooh, let's see if you can remove this is how it looks for now and mine is natural with no chemicals and all and it's a 4c hair guys so it's really kito who will pull back the because they have they've done with the the whole so um another thing i wanted to tell you that the amount that i used to undo the hair was 2000 only that one catered for undoing wash and blow dry um what else what else no i think that was the last thing that i wanted to share with you on this look journey uh, if i remove who will hold me so yeah so this is what we have i even don't know where i my zinetonini pichana ziko where my combs are because it's a it's been a near so even don't know where I have if I have or not. So what I have seen is this one. This is how it looks. So I don't want to disturb the hair so much because I'm telling you the scalp is a bit stiff. 
and pain. It has pain, so just let it relax for some for a week or two. So this is how it is, and let me put it on the ooh, on the back. I don't know if it's able to see me. But... <coughs> This is, I don't know if I'm doing it right. So that's what I have achieved. So for me, what it has done, uh, I have, I can't say much about it because I had said that my edges were okay even when I put the blocks and it has maintained it. For the hair, I feel like it's a bit longer. Yeah, so I, I did a video while I was putting, so I want to find if I can get the picture of when I was putting to see how long it was. And now, that's what we have, we have achieved. Whew. Now, I didn't want to, a lot of blood dry. I don't like blood dry. I, first of the time you put oil, I don't like it. <laughs> the heat is always too much. And because the scalp is, I'm, I feel pain on the scalp, I just told them, no, let us just leave it the way it is. And yo, so guys, that's, the end of this video and i hope that you've learned one or two things if you want to put the protective hairstyle the locks please do and make sure that you don't do the one that you put wax please make sure you do the crochet and you won't regret the wax it's not a good idea because it will lock and it will also cut your hair so yeah i'm so glad that this is what i have achieved and also i've been to this salon for the past one year um rasta joseph salon I've, i say that you have to maintain where you go so that you can be able so that you cannot mix pe um, the people because the way people make your hair is not the same place it will be different from another place so so that you cannot lock as much guys so yeah <sighs> at least now i can breathe <laughs> anyway so yeah that's all if you have any other question please write it down in the comment section and i hope that you've enjoyed the video Please leave some love, uh, like in the <laughs> in the video. Uh, <clears throat> when you watch the video, please comment down below. Tell me, ask me anything, or if you have already done this tell, tell us more in the comment section. And if you are able to share me out, please do. And we are on the road to ten thousand subscribers, guys. I will keep on urging you. Let's continue doing this. Just subscribe. Take that phone of your mom, your dad, your cousins. Please subscribe to this channel. And yeah. We grow together. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.